Minasan konnichiwa! This is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some Japanese skincare products that I feel like are a little bit overhyped and do not meet my expectations. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please go ahead and channel doroku shatte kudasai. So all of the products I am going to be talking about today are extremely, extremely popular in Japan. Maybe they are not so popular or known internationally at this point, but when I was living in and visiting Japan, they seemed to be absolutely everywhere. So I had very high expectations of it um, from what I saw in the stores, what I saw online and what people were saying about these products. But unfortunately, they just did not meet that overhyped expectation for me. Before I get into to talking about them I do have to say that if you use these products and they work for you then amazing I am so jealous of you <laughs> just because my opinion is different to yours doesn't mean you should stop using it in my opinion they just did not work for me or they did not just live up to the hype that was built around it but once again if you like it and it's working then please please keep using it okay the first one is something that is huge in Japan but I feel like I never see um, people in other countries talk about it and it is the Sophia IP Base Care Essence or I believe they have renamed it to Base Care Serum. So this was one I saw absolutely everywhere in Japan. If you go into a drugstore, if you go into Donkey, if you go into like Loft, any of those stores, you will always see this and it's slightly more higher end compared to like the classic drugstore brands. It is basically a first step essence or serum you apply it on bare skin after cleansing. Just like this and then you just apply it and this foam comes out. It is this foam that's supposed to be super super like micro dense foam or whatever. Smaller particles than your pores so it penetrates really deep and hydrates into the deeper layers of your skin. And as you saw the foam literally just dissipates onto the skin when it's applied. It turns into a slightly viscous serum like texture. So ultimately it hydrates the skin to help soften it, to improve skin texture and brighten skin over time and it also helps the products that you apply to your skin afterwards absorb better. So that sounds great right? Like it sounds like an amazing product. A lot of people seem to love it. It's won multiple awards with At Cosme which is like one of the biggest kind of beauty awards site in Japan and also with magazines like Makia and Biteki which are both really big beauty magazines too so they've won multiple awards and have for multiple years now and truthfully the ingredients are pretty basic they've just got humectants and moisturizing ingredients and then it also does include niacinamide but honestly that's about it in terms of key ingredients don't get me wrong I love the way my skin feels after I apply this my skin's just like really plump and bouncy and hydrated and even with just the one application of this my skin feels well replenished and just like ready to soak in other products but I feel like it just doesn't layer well. I tried with so many different toners since it is the first step I usually follow up with a toner if not like a serum or something if this is hydrating it enough but it just doesn't layer. Whenever I apply a product I feel like this product doesn't stay absorbed in my skin but it kind of just like lifts and mix up with whatever next product I'm applying. It automatically there's a fly. Go away. It's very hard to explain and probably hard to understand. I feel like the effects are just not like happening, if that makes sense. And even with continuous use, I feel like it didn't make a huge difference to my skin. They claim that it helps to like minimize the appearance of pores, helps to brighten and like with evening out skin tone and all of that. I personally did not see the difference. And most of all, it is kind of expensive for like what it is and how long you get out of it. So you have to use a decent amount. Even on the packaging, it says you have to use a diameter of three centimeters, which is pretty large amount. They say if you use that amount AM and PM it lasts you a month and a half. A month and a half, 5,000 yen, 5,000 Japanese yen. I don't even want to think about how much that is in Australian or US dollars, especially if you buy it on sites that would sell it like guest style and stuff. It'll probably like 
close to $100 or something. Like that's a lot for what it is and yeah, like a month and a half of use. Don't hate the product. Like honestly, I quite like it, but it's just like value for money is just crap. <laughs> and it's not like life changing to my skin. I'd say like the Neogen Micro Ferment Essence, that did more than this. And that one you can get for a pretty, pretty good price if you get it on sale. So next one might seem ridiculous because I've used so much of it and I'm almost empty, but it is actually the Senka All Clear Oil. I did talk about this one in depth in my ranking Japanese oil cleansers video and I actually ranked it five out of six. So as in like fifth place out of six different cleansers. So yeah, I didn't really like it, but I feel like it got a little more popularity recently when, or it was like a few months ago, but Somi, the K-pop idol, she used it in her skincare routine and I was actually super surprised. I was like, wow, I did not expect that. And I didn't expect her to use like a Japanese product either. I feel like some people might not even know it's Japanese. I feel like a lot of people probably think it's Korean. And I feel like because she used it in that Harper's Bazaar, go to bed with me routine, it got a little more traction recently. So the main reason why I don't think it deserves the hype is that it doesn't really do what the brand claims for it to do. First of all, it says it removes waterproof makeup very easily with rice germ oil. Although rice germ oil isn't actually the main oil ingredient in this one mineral oil is so it is mainly mineral with a little bit of rice germ oil and even with that like it doesn't come off that easy i have to work pretty hard to remove waterproof makeup secondly they say you can use it with a wet hands and face but honestly i do not think it works well to remove once your hands and face are wet so it is not one for the shower and it just doesn't emulsify very well and lastly i do feel like it stings my eyes quite a bit. Usually I am fairly okay with all products. I rarely come across a product that stings my eyes in the process of removing, but this was one of the ones that I do find does irritate my eyes a little bit when I'm removing it. Even though it encourages to remove eye makeup because they actually say it is okay to use with eyelash extensions. So I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't know about that. So yeah, I just feel like there's so many other Japanese oil cleansers that are better than this one. Maybe it's just because it's under the name of Senka that it is overhyped and kind of sold well. But personally, I do not think it is one of the best oil cleansers. I am very impressed that I've used this much of it. That's my opinion on that one. Lastly, I actually two sunscreens and I'm just so upset about this one. Honestly, like... I don't want to put it on this list, but I just had to because it did not work for me. And they are the Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence and the Sun Cut Tone Up UV Essence. They have like the exact same name and pretty much the exact same product from two different brands. I myself overhyped this one. I know I did. So I'm really sorry if people bought this off my um, opinion and it didn't work for you. But I definitely overhyped it when I did my Japanese skincare haul, if you guys have seen that. It's because in Japan, it was sold out everywhere like it was huge when I was there I went to so many drugstores to find it and I finally found one and purchased it and I was like oh this is so exciting like it must be so good it's selling so well but it just didn't work for me why I was so excited about it is that it is a toning up sunscreen so basically it has a tint to it it is like a lavender tint and it's supposed to help brighten your skin and kind of create a base to your skin with a sunscreen so as you can see it has a little bit of a light color for that reason it probably won't be the best for people who do have darker skin tones so please be aware of that it is a chemical sunscreen so for my skin tone it dries down and it doesn't leave any white cast even though it does have a tint and the reason why I wanted this was one of my favorite primers is the Etude House Fix and Fix Primer Tone Up in Lavender so I thought well if I can get the effect of like the brightening which lavender is supposed to help brighten your skin tone and even it out and everything. I thought if I can get it in a sunscreen then I can eliminate the primer step and just get rid of one step in my makeup skincare routine. So that's why I was like, hell yeah, this sounds like something for me. I'm excited. This is good. But no matter what I try, no matter what combination, it just ends up peeling. Like it just peels after a few hours. I tried wearing this so many times and with it or without makeup, with different skincare and no matter what, after a few hours, it just peeled on the skin, it flaked. I feel like the Sun Car one was still better. It wasn't as bad, but the Skin Aqua, it just, I don't know, am I doing it wrong? It just like, 
crumbled it just peeled and it was a mess couldn't even wear makeup like if I wore makeup over it it would still peel like through my makeup so <sighs> So, so bums because I was so gosh darn excited for it. Obviously, I am going to continue to use them on my body. I do want to give them a try again because it has been a few months since I last tried them out. But my skin is being a little bit crazy right now. I know you can't tell on the camera, but I actually had a huge allergic reaction to a product and I've got this texture all over my skin so i'm really trying not to use any new or kind of different products but i did open both of them and they really just did not live up to that hype did not work the way i wanted to and the way it seemed to work for everyone else so please let me know if you have used these and had the same experience if not tell me your secrets tell me how i can use this it just did not work for me anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you thought of it i haven't done this kind of video before so i'd be very curious to your thoughts and i'll see you guys in the next one bye